the world demand of aquaculture products is expanding due to population growth and reduction in wild caught fish, and increasingly so in the rapidly urbanizing areas. Kenya is food insecure, requiring imports of various food commodities, including fish. Currently, the per capita annual fish consumption in Kenya is estimated at 4.5 kilograms per capita per year. This calls for increase in fish production with focus on breeding of fast-growing fish species, making use of extensive freshwater resources, ponds, and tank-based aquaculture systems. To understand aquaculture supply, we need to go to where it originates. One of these areas is at Kirinyaga County, sitting at the foothills of Mount Kenya, which is approximately 133 kilometers to the northeast of Nairobi. I do fish farming in uh, three quarters of an acre. I have uh, 18 ponds, uh, which I do both catfish and uh, tilapia, but most I do fish production. That is uh, tilapia, monosex fingerin, and also catfish fingerins. I started fish farming in 2010 and an economic stimulus program, which was a government project and uh, did two ponds, which didn't do very well. Then from there, I consulted with the fishery officers in Sagana, where they advised me to get more information from the research division of Kemfri. When I visited them, they were very helpful, and they came to my farm and were able to help me even to do uh, fish production. There has been an increase in the raised fish pond technology that is used in densely populated areas in order to maximize on space. Despite the pressing challenge of unavailability of efficient and inexpensive farm-made feeds for different stages of fish development, there has been sustained efforts by the players in the industry to provide cheaper feed. When you look at the environment around, is a two-season uh, climatic area. And we find rains that come in April, then again in October. Now it does, what you can do best is maize and beans. And when you look at the market value of those products, it's quite low. But now when the, 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 the ministry brought in the economic stimulus, I got interested and I found fish to be even be a better uh, product to work with. Although the economic stimulus program has contributed new great opportunities, ideally, the business should develop into independent businesses that can carry out their businesses without governmental support. Aquaculture systems can be divided into three categories, namely extensive, semi-intensive, and intensive systems with each having unique characteristics. Kenya is predominantly based on semi-intensive culture systems mainly using ponds to culture fish. Both earthen and linear ponds are used by farmers in the country. Another added advantage with fish is that when we come to production, you do very little hatching and you get some better money than compared to what we used to do with the crops like maize and beans where you do a lot of uh, bugs so that you can be able to get subsistence uh, upkeep. The other area that I would also f say fish farming is good is because it has given me a enabling environment to interact with other people, from, especially people from the lake, where I can be able now even to study what they are doing. And I find that when you are doing fish farming, it's also good for even for your own health, which has also been a very good for my neighbors. When I produce fish, I also sell it to my neighbors, and they, 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 they keep on even asking for more. Only when understanding the core bottlenecks throughout value chains, it is only possible to implement strategic interventions along the systems that have real impacts. A common understanding of food systems is needed to secure a sustainable food future in both urban and rural communities to take needed action. <laughs>